I'm uh, heading to Livingston, Montana today to pick up a couple of molds and a couple of clays. So no sculpting today. It's a beautiful day. It's in the 60, actually 55 degrees right now, which is not bad. Time to play with some clay. studio tomorrow. I don't know how much I'm going to record today because uh, you've seen this trip before. <laughs> this is about a week ago or two weeks ago. It's absolutely beautiful today and uh, it's going to be a fun trip. Valley and uh, coming close to Bozeman now. That's the uh, Ridger Mountains in the distance. This uh, back in the 1830s and 40s was dangerous country for a white man or anybody that was not Blackfoot. This is Blackfoot country here. And uh, you could very well find yourself scalped and dead if you came in this area. Ain't been that long ago if you think about it. It's pretty safe now. <laughs> Paved highways and everything. And so-called civilization. found out that uh, from people who I first met when I first moved here that actually lived during the bug board and buggy days, uh, horse drawn, that it took two days to get to where I am right now. It's only taken me 45 minutes. But they camp back on the uh, Madison River behind me. And uh, it would take two days to get here to do shopping and two days to get back. Wow. Just so thankful that uh, we have vehicles that can travel this in 45 minutes. Alright, just got it to the foundry. It's about a little after one o'clock. Hi there, buddy. 
Hi. Hi there. Ready? Uh, did you have that mold that I thought you might have? Okay, well, I probably got it over at my studio. I mean, my. These are a George. bunch of waxes of uh, somebody else's artwork. <laughs> and uh, just to show you how they sprue them up. And I, what are you doing? You're, you're getting a mold ready? Me? Yeah. I'm getting ready to pour wax. Yeah. But that's a latex rubber with a uh, plaster shell. Yeah. Is where the clay, oh. Next up. This is where they make uh, or dip the uh, waxes in uh, ceramic. ceramic material. These are been dipped and they're drying right now. These are have gotten to the point where I guess we're close to being done on them, aren't you? Yep, we're ready to burn the wax out and pour the bronze in the ceramic shell today. Here's one that's been already de-waxed. Okay, okay. See, that's how they look when the uh, you know, pour that wax metal is melted right out, in. yeah. And then the bronze is about 2,000 something degrees. 2,100. By the way, that's Byron. He, he's the owner of the bron uh, foundry. This is a ceramic slurry. This is a slurry that they dip the wax in and then they uh, sand. use sand in between. And they use fine sand to start with and uh, get the grainier sand later. Oh. Yeah, that's a lot thicker granules on that one. And this is a different uh, ceramic solution, it's kind of yellowish. Okay, they're getting ready to burn the wax out of several molds ceramic molds whoop i'm sorry and uh yeah what does this heat the uh, molds up to well we load them in at around 1500 degrees fahrenheit wow so then all the, all the wax inside of the ceramic will flash right out and melt out without expanding too much to crack the ceramic yeah of course Flash sometimes fire. they do crack don't they yep <laughs> the metal that's shoot. the furnace yeah that they melt bronze in and that's a bronze ingot on the uh, top of the uh lid and if it was going right now i you wouldn't be able to hear me talk the furnace is up to 1400 it needs to be up to 1500 before they can burn out the uh, wax They're loading up the uh, waxes now. The wax is already melting out. I can see why you got that outfit on. I can feel the heat clear back here. 1500 degrees. Is that it? And that's a night nice sentinel getting ready to be molded. I don't know how. When do you guys think you'll be doing that? Oh, I don't know. Probably within the next month. Yeah, that's what I figured too. All right, everybody. Is this, are you Ben? Yes, sir. <laughs> that's uh, Byron's son, Ben. Yep. Love the foundry work. Yeah. All right, I got uh, 85 miles to get back home. All right, everybody. Have a great night. See you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.